My name is Mia Abbott. I'm currently studying the MSI in Forensic Science at Staffordshire University and I've researched into presumptive testing for legal highs with a specific focus on methadrone. I was really excited to come here and when I came here in first year, I absolutely loved it and I'm still loving it now. The best things about Staffordshire University is the amount of uh, practical work that we do. So there's a lot of hands-on um, forensic work, such as with drugs work, actually using real samples. It just adds a bit more to the whole forensic research. The equipment that's provided with Staffordshire University is brilliant. Um, the fact as well that you can book it in your own time and you can get proficiency testing on all of them. In your second year, when you're doing um, forensic science, you get to use a lot of the equipment and it's like each application of the pieces of equipment is in a forensic field. So last year over the summer I did a six week placement with Staffordshire Police and I'd mentioned the fact that I wanted to work with legal highs and they specifically said well methadrone is a problem for us and we'd like you to research into that. I think my project's went really well. Um, I've been able to test some C samples from uh, VFest Amnesty Bin and I've been identifying the samples that were there. Unfortunately, none of them it contained methadrone, but the samples that they did contain, I was able to identify that they were mainly cocaine and ketamine as well as diazepam. One of the cocaine samples was cut mainly with benzocaine, another of the samples was cut with um, levomethyl, which is a cow dewormer. Um, lidocaine was cut with some of the um, ketamine samples, there was two of them that were cut with lidocaine. So yeah, looking into a lot of the cutting agents as well as the actual samples themselves was a big thing that I could use on both the GCMS and the FTIR. The spec Quest ATR was able to be used with confirmatory testing the samples. Uh, it was quick and easy to use and the fact that I could um, get a confirmatory identification on all of the samples was brilliant. It took about 30 seconds per run and then to clean off the samples, uh, save the samples and then start again. It probably took about three minutes per sample. So overall I got all of the samples done within like, a couple of hours. Um, so it was a lot quicker than like, GCMS analysis because of the fact that I didn't have to do any sample preparation. The spectra that was obtained was a uh, really good resolution and it therefore was really easy to use and um, compare against and really efficient. <laughs>